fucking blows up. Bitch, I make it rain, show. You did that. They wanna know a thing about you. You still that. Kill them with that block. of the Holocaust because those who were traumatized by the devastating moment could get an education and start to learn more about the society. Other people that helped them create this association said, hey, what about people that were bullied or cyberbullied on the internet and dropped out of school? Well, maybe they could get an education too. The topics, not being on your phone, dropping out of school, and committing suicide. Not being on your phone. Not being on your phone is going to make your parents think because this charity realized that 80% of teenagers are on their phone 24-7, which is making it easier for cyberbullies to get to them. Your guardians know you are on your phone all the time because they live with you. They will realize that you are not on your phone and will suspect that something is wrong. Facing history and ourselves wants you to donate because 75% out of however many percentage in your grade alone is or has been cyberbullied. Dropping out of school. Teenagers dropping out of school is very common for those who have been cyberbullied because they can, can't stand being made fun of. But for some, once they drop out of school, they become homeless. But for those who dropped out of school, you forgot this. High school dropouts are forbidding their opportunity to pursue the American dream, meaning that if you drop out of school, you are quitting life. You are throwing away your career and reason to live. In addition, those who dropped out of school might want to get their education and their diploma so they can get a job and go to college. And this charity can do that. So donate. Because just think, if this were you and you were ready to graduate, but then you just dropped out, you would want someone to save your life, right? Committing suicide. Someone commits suicide every 15 minutes because they are either being cyberbullied or bullied in general. Being bullied makes people think differently about themselves. So when they go to school, they look down and not up. They don't stand up for themselves like they used to. How facing history and ourselves think about getting the schools needed for these victims is this. To create safe schools, we need to think critically about the dynamics and impact of bullying in schools and communities. Explore how young people and adults can stand up to this behavior and learn how to prevent it. Picture this. You're being bullied every day at school. People tell you that you're a freak and you're ugly or you don't belong here. Then the next day they don't see you and they know they got to you. But what they don't know is that they caused a major problem. They made you commit suicide. I used to think the worst thing in life was to end up all alone. It's not. The worst thing in life is to end up with people that make you feel all alone. A quote by Robin Williams for he himself committed suicide. When you're taught in school to tell someone if you have suicidal thoughts. I told tons of my teachers and friends. They thought it was a joke. I was 10, trying to commit suicide. I told my mom this year I'm depressed. She said it's a phase. This is meaning that there's 10 year olds out there who have only lived for 10 years and are already trying to take their life. When someone kills themselves, we shouldn't say they committed suicide. We should say they lost their battle with dep depression. It is truly a war and it's not what we choose. Bullying is a war. It's a war between who is going to win, the bully or the victim. The bully is committing a crime, a crime so easily done that they usually win. But what we can't do, but we can't let this happen. We have to fight and we have to donate because we can save our society today. Donate because together we can save each other. Timmy. Every 15 minutes, someone else takes their life. Because I don't want it to happen to me. Because I don't want to lose a friend. I'm sick of hearing stories in the news about teenagers and even children taking their lives as a result of being bullied by their peers. It, make, it truly makes me sick. This week is the tragic story of Rachel Lemieux, a beautiful 13-year-old girl who committed suicide on April 29th after being bullied for months that we are all reading about. It breaks my heart to say this, but who will it be next week? This needs to stop. Thank you. And my charity is Feed My Starving Children.
Imagine, you are shedding tears on your mother's shirt. You haven't eaten for weeks. Your ribs and all your bones are showing. You feel empty, depressed, and hopeless. There are children in the world that feel this way. Feed my starving children and you are their only solution to this problem. Background information. 99.6% of their products get to the destination they are trying to reach. 900,000 is the number of how many volunteers they have. Feed My Starving Children packages around 229 million packages of food a year. Reasons why to donate. They have reached many starving countries, they send healthy products, and they send their food to places where needed. They have reached so many starving countries. Feed My Starving Children has reached nearly 70 countries. One country they have reached is Haiti with 372,121,656 meals. They have also teamed up with many organizations such as Chances for Children and Children's Cup to get their food to places where needed. They send healthy products, such as their Manny Pack rice with vitamin B12 and vitamin C, also clinics, refugee camps, and malnourishment centers are some places where they send their food. They also send their food to places where something devastating happened, like a natural disaster. Also places that are having economic despair and are lacking food. My personal connection. I don't even think about what I'm eating or if I throw away a whole meal. It came into consideration of how lucky I am to get three full meals a day. I say I'm starving in just an hour, but that made me think about the kids who do not eat for days. Reasons why to donate again. Be My Starving Children have reached nearly 70 countries with the help of over 900,000 volunteers. They also send their food with nutrients and what the body needs. They also send their food to places where needed. Take action. Famished children are relying on someone or something to give their body the strength and happiness they deserve. You are these children's last hope for survival. Be the one that helps these children get the food, that, get the food they need. And maybe be the one who puts a smile on their face. Did you know that two million dogs, along with thousands of cats, are killed each year for human consumption? In Asian countries, they chop shark fins off and toss them back into the ocean. Often these sharks are still alive. Or even that every five minutes a companion horse is killed. This is horse. The charity was founded in 1951 by a lady named Christy Stevens. The charity not only does things to improve animal welfare, but they explain to people that animal abuse is present in our society. Like these. And sometimes they don't grow back. Noise pollution, which is another form of pollution, can change the lives of innocent whales. Pollution could be anything from trash or chemical pollutants to noise pollution, which is a big problem because did you remember those whales from before? Well, those were all animals who were um, victims to noise pollution. You should donate to the Animal Welfare Institute because they fight for innocent, laboratory, companion, and marine animals around the world. My person is not 
acceptable. Finally, they believe that they should protect companion animals from cruelty. They also support a ban on the dog meat trade. These are dogs taken to be slaughtered for the Yulin Dog Eating Festival. They transport them in inhumane conditions such as these, or sometimes even worse. Can you be quiet? But with your so this Christmas, donate your spare change to the Animal Welfare Institute. Because these animals need it more. Emma, 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 Timmy, Timmy scared me. Emma, Emma, Timmy scared me. Emma, Emma, Timmy scared me. Lower than 20% to higher than 80%. Did you know every day there are 43 children diagnosed with cancer? Tears, frowns, and sadness fill each of the hospital rooms. The parent is thinking, will I lose my precious child, and can we pay for the expensive treatments? Then a doctor at St. Jude's reassures the hopeless parent that there is no cause for treatment, and with tremendous effort of the St. Jude's faculty, the life can be saved. St. Jude is a patron saint of hope and impossible causes. The children get the chance to meet celebrities, like the two young girls up here got to meet Jennifer Aniston. St. Jude saves lives worldwide. They treat patients at no cost, and they advance treatments with the help of your donations. According to the website, St. Jude has treated children from all 50 states and from around the world. St. Jude improves global survival rates for children with cancer. St. Jude gives specialized training to international healthcare professionals so they can use that knowledge in their own countries. According to the website, the promise that families will never receive a bill for travel, treatment, housing, or food. A family was waiting nervously in the hospital room, but then a social worker came to the room, sat down, and one of the first things she said was, you will never receive a bill from St. Jude's. The family sat in relief. Another family went to St. Jude's with a three-year-old daughter, Sydney, and said that they'd been there for two years and never received a bill. The last quote states that it does not matter how long a patient stays at St. Jude's, the child will always have full attention with no frustration or grief about a bill. Meet Gabby. Gabby is a, is a toddler with a cheerful personality. She used to live in Jamaica, but when her mother saw a lump growing on her abdomen, she quickly called St. Jude's for help. It was confirmed at St. Jude's that Gabby suffered from Wilms tumor, a type of kidney cancer. Gabby does not have to pay for any of her treatment, so all of her parents have to worry about is the life of Gabby. Donate now and help us continue a life-saving mission of finding cures. Furthermore, since it is funding, the program has raised more than $100 million to help all of the children. Clinics, refugee camps, and malnourishment centers are some places where they send their food. They also send their food to places where something devastating happened, like a natural disaster. Also places that are having economic despair and are lacking food. My personal connection. I don't even think about what I'm eating or if I throw away a whole meal. It came into consideration of how lucky I am to get three full meals a day. I say I'm starving in just an hour, but that made me think about the kids who do not eat for days. 
Reasons why to donate again. Feed My Starving Children have reached nearly 70 countries with the help of over 900,000 volunteers. They also send their food with nutrients and what the body needs. They also send their food to places where needed. Take action. Famished children are relying on someone or something to give their body the strength and happiness they deserve. You are these children's last hope for survival. Be the one that helps these children get the food, that, get the food they need and maybe be the one who puts a smile on their face. We're excited. Resources to get back to their lives, get back to their communities and live a healthy lifestyle and normal lifestyle. They said orange boxes. Hey guys, this is Cake of Vlogs. So recently, um, I, you know, me, yeah, <laughs> in school, we did this project, a charity project, and what you do, you write an essay, well, first, first, uh, you start off with like five different stages, this whole thing is huge, so, uh, you start off, let me think, what do we do first? First, we found the charity and started doing research, so this is a charity project. Um, I picked the ALS association. After, association. After that, I had to gather facts and do a bunch of note cards. Boom. Done. Then I had to write an essay, uh, the draft of it, then write the full thing, or type the full thing. Then, after that, we had to make note cards from the essay. Then we had to make Google Slides, and we have to present the Google Slides and the note cards. So basically, all the other stages went to waste, but it was overall a fun project, except I had to present. And if you guys know me, you know. Presenting is one of my worst fears. So, I've already done the project. I'm happy it wasn't as bad as it seemed. But I'm going to do the project to you guys. Because hopefully, you'll learn a little bit more about the ALS Association. And if you guys are wondering, well, why'd you do that in English class? Basically, what happens is if you, like we're not done yet, tomorrow's our last day for everyone to present. The 16th, so tomorrow. <laughs> Basically what happens, everyone votes, and every, there's five English classes, and everyone votes, and the person who gets the most votes goes on, and the five others compete, and they present in front of the whole school, and then the whole school votes, and then one of them will win out of those five, and then the charity will be, the charity that they had, say it was the ALS Association, would be granted the money so they would get a huge check not a huge check but a check if they were to win their charity would get that i don't want to win because i hate public speaking and i wanted to do my project to you guys instead all right so i have my little note cards in case you didn't believe me uh it was supposed to be three if possible but I only had enough information for two. Or well, I probably could have put more. But she said she didn't want everything on your note card. So I'm just doing what you wanted. And I was going to show you guys my Google Slides. But I'm not going to. Because I already forgot. And I don't feel like going back and fixing it. So I'm going to have to deal with it. Okay. So let's get to it. The ALS Association. Over 5,000 people die a year from ALS. And over 30,000 people have ALS without knowing it. This disease attacks the brain and was found in 1985. ALS provides patients with support. They are taking time out of their days to find a cure. And they are responsible financially. They are helping people by giving families high quality support and using global research to find a cure. Finding a cure is hard, but they are making an advanced nationwide program to increase funding. They want to work as one and collaborate with others to understand ALS more. They're financially stable and are 
five stars in most of their most of their locations. Five stars or four. They've gotten one hundred thirty six million eight hundred fifteen thousand seven hundred fifty six hundred dollars in grants. And they work with a business model made to promote their financially their financial strength. I found out about ALS through YouTube, seeing the Ice Buck Bucket Challenge, and then from there I heard people's stories. And I looked up ALS and I found out that it was a disease that attacked your brain. And you guys can look up more about that. My call to action to you guys is to donate because they help people in need, they're conducting research, and are financially stable. So guys, that was my presentation, except I would have the Google Slides like right here. Here, if I get a picture, it will be like right here, hopefully, and uh, click on the smart board to change the slides or whatever. Picture of smart board here, if I remember. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you liked the presentation. Actually, to support my charity, I might be doing the ALS, uh, the Ice Bucket Challenge myself, and hopefully I can do that. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. and. Bye. Can blows up, bitch. I make it rain, y'all. You did that. They wanna know a thing about you. You still that. Kill them with that block.